Against my better judgment, let's talk about 3i Atlas, our mysterious interstellar visitor that at least some researchers think might be aliens. What is the controversy, and what is weird about it? Let's talk about it. You guys may have seen this in the news, or even with your own small telescope, because you can see it in our night sky until April. This comet behaves like none that we've ever seen before. Some of it seems to violate what we know about physics of interstellar objects. And yes, it came from another solar system, not ours. Sometimes we have rocks just floating around our solar system that occasionally make their way by. No, this one is from elsewhere. There are many reasons why this thing is unusual, and might even be reasonable to consider the possibility of aliens. I'm not going to say it is, but uh, I, I think it's unreasonable to just say no, absolutely not. But we try to find better explanations. Its trajectory with our sun is just unlikely. It only has a 0.2% chance that it would be. That doesn't mean it can't be, just it's unusual. Stranger, it has a sunward jet. So normally, when light shines on a comet, we might expect to see a comet tail that would cause it to move away from the sun, because stuff is getting warmed on the side. Think like a bottle rocket. So the physics of why it would jet towards our sun is uh, not understood, and it's certainly strange. Still, that just might mean that we don't understand the phenomenon. It's also really heavy. I don't think that means aliens, but it's certainly interesting. Now we get into some ideas that are weirder. Now I hate the term fine-tuned, but Avi Loeb would say so. It's passing by Mars, Venus, and Jupiter, and is unobservable by Earth for most of that time. So could they be trying to obfuscate themselves from Earth? No, I doubt that. You know how long it takes to travel across the galaxy? By the time it even left, Earth probably wouldn't be much to look at. It seems to contain more nickel than iron, which is unusual for stuff we see out there in the galaxy, which we understand as being involved in the production of nickel alloys. We humans have never seen this in a comet before. The gas plume also contains 4% water by mass, but it does contain water, and that's something that we often see. Now it's also from the direction of a radio signal that we found. That doesn't mean aliens. I mean, lots of solar stuff can cause radio signals. We didn't invent it. We harnessed a property that already existed. And some people think that the jets that it has are just a little bit too orderly. Maintaining orientation over millions of miles is not something that we would necessarily expect from some rock flying out there in space that has gases coming off of it. So yes, it's an all-around weird little object we've found. Could it be aliens? I mean, yeah, sure, it could be aliens. But in science, we like to find reasonable explanations. And before we jump to something that we have no evidence for, because we've never seen aliens before, so how could we possibly know what to look for? It's considered better, just better in general, to consider all natural explanations before we jump to something that, you know, aliens. I tried, but I don't think I can make my hair and do the thing. You know the thing. If you want less insane news on alien life, it seems the conditions for life to form happen on early planets in young solar systems. RNA, the kind of genetic material. It can be the genome of things like viruses, but we generally use DNA, which is more stable, although there can be double-stranded RNA. Also, RNA does more than just code for stuff. Yes, it can also carry out metabolic processes, and is needed in order to stabilize our genes. It's used in gene expression. It's been theorized that RNA was our first genetic material before we moved to the more stable DNA, and there is a very good amount of incidental evidence for that. It seems to make RNA, or at least have optimal conditions for it. It would seem that a planet that just had a large impact would be ideal. What planets tend to have a lot of impacts? Young planets in young solar systems because at first they kind of absorb each other. They get impacted, they get other stuff from space, and then it slowly clears out to something stable that's not constantly getting hit by asteroids. Young solar systems tend to have a lot of debris out there, and planets hit each other, create new planets, and ultimately clean up the environment and stabilize. This happens to be why we're not constantly getting pelted by stuff, although we do still kind of get pelted sometimes, not as much as before. So what do you think? A strange interstellar anomaly or actually aliens? Let me know and follow for more.